started on our first game. Uh, the first game we're going to be playing is called Triumph. Can I get the new socks up for it? All right, so socks classic. You probably know it. But in this game, we have three members of socks, and they're each going to be speaking for someone else. All right? Do we get the, the rules? All right. Um, and for this, uh, what we're going to need from you is a non-geographic location, so a bathroom, a Starbucks, neither of those. Dollar gold. A casino. A street corner. Can the sock to my left introduce themselves? Yeah, my name's Robert, and well, this is my gazebo. I've lived here ever since I was born. Hey, before I was born, I was born in this gazebo, even. Um, <laughs> and I love it more than anything. Wow. What was your name again? Robert. Robert. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're acquainted. Uh, can the sock to my middle please introduce themselves? I'm Patricia. I. I am the daughter of the man whose brother built this gazebo in 1900-1804. I have always known that I would be proposed to in this gazebo because it's in my heritage, but uh, I don't necessarily know by who. Uh, just, uh, can you guess this question? <laughs> and what was your name again? Bamanda. Bamanda. <laughs> All right, thank you, Bamanda. Wow, I love it. All right, can the sock to my right please introduce themselves? Hey! Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, Tan. That's the name. And I am a saxophone player who sits here in this gazebo just serenading folks who are walking by, you know, making some cash. You can throw coins down into the bell of my saxophone. And I just, I love everyone. And All I'm right. Sober. I'm sober, I promise. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And did you say your name was Ten? Ten. <laughs> All right. Ten. Okay, let's see this scene. <laughs> Begin when you're ready. Hey, Ten. It's been a while. Oh, yeah, it has been a long time. <laughs> Wait, wait. 
<laughs> She's not very subtle, to, uh, uh, Robert. I mean, <laughs> Stop playing Fortnite. You 
Stop. 
after this to go to the so, I gotta cut this short, but Jeremy was a special guy. <laughs> Oh no, there's a 
a smear of blood on it. Would you plead it off for me? Oh, you're curious about the blood? Let me tell you about why the blood is there. Oh, it's because we're magic. You can do magic too. Also, you're gonna have to kill your siblings. <laughs> that was a very succinct explanation. <laughs> Yeah, but I was thinking about it. Jeremy, did I ever tell you that you're like a brother to me? <laughs> and if I'm... Yeah, that's right, think it through. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm sorry, because I've gotten this wrong twice before. What's your name? Jackson, brother of Michael. Jackson, brother of Michael. There, there isn't any chance that you saw what I wrote on my hand over here. It said, kill, kill the Jackson, Jackson boys. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. That's what it is. And Jeremy, can I ask you a question? What's your middle name? <laughs> my birth, my birth certificate. <laughs> my birth certificate was stolen from the hospital two weeks ago. I thought it must have been the extraordinary Michael. It was the extraordinary Jackson. <laughs> yes, Jeremy. Jackson. The walls are. Are What the? based on how much you like the game or how much you hate the game. Uh, and then we'll pick which game we want to see played out and we will play said game. So can I get two letters? E. R. Let's get the first letter. E. E. Okay, R is a great letter. Okay, the second letter. G. L. L. R. L. Game of math. Make your paces. Um, rare lines, okay? The way this game is going to work is uh, we're going to get um, a, um, a top, a, a, it can be any location, but to make it more specific, let's get a, a, a professional competition from the audience, and we're just going to have a four-person scene. At any point, the caller can call out, rare line, and you have to generate a sentence that you believe no one reasonably has ever said before. <laughs> okay, let's do an applause. This game is called Real Life. Um, some of you may or may not know by um, being friends with us, but when Cheap Socks are together, we do have this banter where you can't tell if it's improv or real life. So we're going to stand on stage and talk at you, and you'll have to decide if it's a real life conversation or just improv. <laughs> This game is called Run, Liam. <laughs> Pretty simple. <laughs> um, there are four people on the stage, each with different names. Not all Liam. And uh, at any point, the caller can tell one of the characters to run, and they have to find a reason why they have to literally run <laughs> off stage uh, at that time. Run, Liam. <laughs> Uh, this game is called Really Loud, <laughs> and the way it's played is, uh, two people, uh, everything to them is really loud. Uh, <laughs> and for them, they gotta yell really loud <laughs> to be heard 
in their mind. But the other two people, they don't get it. And so hilarity ensues. <laughs> How much you guys like it? Okay, so with uh, uh, rare lines, Noah. Wrong, <laughs> Liam. Pretty low. 
well. No, it was not. That's an obvious autumn, all right? <laughs> autumn? How dare you see autumn in this sea of yellow and green? I need to talk to you about that guy. He's bad news. We cannot buy from him. Why not? Why not? That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> not understand true art. Do you see this painting? Do it you? looks like spring. Yeah. Have you ever seen Springtime by Maria Barnett? Run, Nebuchadnezzar, run! Oh no, I even own that piece! <laughs> You're saying it's completely different than that picture you showed us on your phone? <laughs> run, Bartholomew, run! I can't take it. <laughs> There's only one depiction of springtime allowed in the art world. And you know what? Painting? This ain't it. See! What about technology? 
Freeman. <laughs> Franklin, how many times have I told you to stop making phallic jokes on my death? <laughs>
So <laughs> can we get a non-geographic location? Let's do an overpriced sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> One special K, please. <laughs> They're gone, Sally. <laughs> One special K, They're not, please. <laughs> They're not coming back. They're, they closed down last week. The storefront's still open, but... Fish sauce just <laughs> isn't a fancy, overpriced option anymore. I know, it's like, it's like putting it in the middle of a... Totally deserted wasteland wasn't a good idea. But it was the last store open. All the zombies ate all the other stores. <laughs> How are we gonna eat? It the has, suppliers. It's been incredibly inconvenient. <laughs> Happy graduation, <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> It's like, thank God that you get to die and right. like, and you don't have to live in this post-apocalyptic world. I know. Again. Congrats to them. Lucky them. If I were them, I would be top hatting all over the place. Oh, I'd just be like, just be like, <laughs> yeah. I'd be, I'd be so, I'd be so happy. I'd be over the moon. I would even be Shades Gavani. This is what he's so. We would never be shades go by. I just feel like, in a lot of ways, this world, nobody asked you, you know? It's like, it's like nobody asked you to kill 95% of my living relatives. But I did. And nobody asked you to cause me such irreparable stress that it did. And I'm, I'm sorry that happened to us. And I... I think we should wallow in our pity a little bit. <laughs> but you know what? Of my 20 family members, yeah. you're the one that's still alive. <laughs> uh, okay! <laughs> Uh, now we're going to play a game that we exclusively play during our final show, and exclusively with upperclassmen. We will see why in a second. Uh, <laughs> the name of this game is Four Rules, and the way it works is I'm going to get four rules from you lovely audience members. Uh, they're rules that they have to follow in scenes. They can be Wait, things such as, you can't say proper nouns, or if you look at somebody, uh, you can't do that. So don't do that. Uh, and when they blow it, this happens. This happens. This happens. So, can I get uh, some rule suggestions? No hands. 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 No 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 Touching someone. 
one, you have to scream. Ah! Two, uh, extra vowels. Ah! I, oh. uh, one person has to be on one leg at all times. And four. Mouth. Mouth. Mouth is open. And, and, and. So, so we all right, add so them. we are going to add them in gradually as the scene goes. And I'm going to be in charge of calling them if they screw up a rule. Feel free to heckle and help me if that is uh, necessary. All right, and can I get an NGL for these lovely, beautiful people? <laughs> the World Bank. Box Bank. 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 The World Bank. All right, we're gonna do a wrestling ring. <laughs> Four rules in a wrestling ring. First rule: uh, if you touch somebody else, you have to scream. <laughs> this works. All right, whenever you are ready, you may begin. <laughs> All right, you ready? You ready? I'm ready. Okay, it's gonna be really intense. Okay, okay. I believe yeah! that. You got it. Thank you. Wait, which one of us is fighting? Is it me? It's Canadian double. <laughs>
Okay. Mother Queen to retrieve you too. You have an important 
job in the future. <laughs> Don't tell me. Ready to go back to the Mother Queen. To the Mother Queen. To save the future and the past and all those. <laughs> my purpose here on this earth is to find to help the dead. Find the dead. You have more purposes. I have more purposes. You have more purposes? I thought I had more purposes. But the man who's been floating around here has been telling me that I have more purposes, and I think it's time for me. That's my name. I have my name, okay? Oh, thank God. Did you misunderstand my statement? I don't know, but it sounds like she's trying to take my purpose and I want to make something of myself. When we were together, or not you, I don't know. I don't know. It's confusing. Listen, the morgue is a scary place. Yeah. The future is a great place. Okay. The Pepto Bismol that's so small, you just pop it right in your mouth. <laughs>
Sex With Me is like the team who uh, helped put together Jumbo Smash this year because I just like work so hard and by the end I'm just exhausted. <laughs> Sex With Me is like Jumbo Smash. I, I get really interested and then they're like, oh no, it was just a joke. <laughs>
then this is the last show ever. Next year, so everyone just give one final round of applause.